Hey everyone, it's Eric from Wooding. Today on the Reddit I saw a question uh, if it was difficult to replace a spring inside a split switch. And in fact it's not. And today I will show you. All you need is some flat switches, some springs. I uh, bought these springs a while back and these are 80 gram springs and I think they're used in uh, cherry green switches. The next thing you need is a screwdriver, a flathead, a really small one. And uh, it's also easy to have some, a little bit of fingernails, so start growing those. So this is the flathead red switch. Uh, grab your flathead screwdriver and simply place it underneath the feet and twist a little bit. As you can see, the feet gets loose a little bit and then you can put your fingernail underneath the corner and hold it there. Then you go to the other side and you do the same and it should already pop off for a bit. So it's open like halfway. Then you put your fingernail on the other side, turn the switch around and do exactly the same. And apply just a little bit of pressure with your fingernail to get it off. And then the last one, so the top of the house should come off very easily. Uh, grab the stem and pull it away gently and let's put that to the side. And this is the inside of the switch. So if you remove it carefully, everything will should stay in place. You can easily remove the spring and put that aside so we don't mess it up later on. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is grab a new spring, a new cherry spring, and just put it over the over the center so it stays there and make sure that the circle from the top part is aligned with the uh, clear stem in the bottom case uh, just make sure the spring goes over the stem in the inside and when everything goes right it should pop back together very easily but the difficult part here is that uh, is in the bottom case the, the the stem of the for the RGB light. It should fall. It should go straight through the circle of the top case. So when you line those two together, and when it everything goes right, just simply click them together, and now you have a much stiffer red switch. And that's it. I'm now going to show you how you can assemble the parts inside the switch. So this is the inside of the bottom case of the red switch. And let's say you didn't remove the top part gently, then all the parts would have come out. See, it's a lot of, it's very difficult to get these parts out, but let's say theoretically it happened. So the bottom part consists of two parts. Again, this clear thing is for the RGB light to get to the top of the switch. Um, as you can see, there's a big hole inside the switch on the top. Uh, make sure that the clear thing, the, 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 the stick that sticks out, is on top of that hole. Uh, and it should fall in almost by itself. And then it's already in place. Uh, this thing. So this small black part, well actually it's not black, it's more of a very dark red thing. Uh, that's very important for the switch to even work because that's where the IR light goes through. So if you handle this, make sure that you have clean hands uh, before you touch this thing. Uh, as you can see, there's like a little square in a circle uh, in the bottom case. There's a little tower here on this thing and that should go over the circle. And it's the same as the clear part. If you just gently drop it in an exact position, should fall in and stay in place. Uh, it's very easy to assemble it. Uh, simply turn it around so the thing for the keycap, the MX stem, is on the bottom and drop it in and make sure the prism is going to the solid bit of the house, not to the circle but to the solid bit. And if you just drop it in, it should fall in place and that's it. So I'm also going to show the blue flare tech switch because this is a little bit more, these can be a bit more difficult because these have more parts inside. The first thing we're going to do is also remove the top case. It's the same as the red switch. Uh, 
guess as you can see here's like a, a orange plastic thing around the stem uh, that should never come off it's it's very tight on it and you won't have any issues with it so just put that aside the thing with the bottom cases as you can see there's a little metal part there and that's where the clicking noise comes from and if that falls out so let's first grab the spring and move that aside uh, and let's remove these two parts so this is the metal part that could also come out but if it comes out it's not a big deal um, first you insert the, the clear uh, stem for the RGB light the same as you would do with the red switches and then as you can see the metal part has a thing that sticks out a little bit that should go towards the inside and you should be able to slide it next to the clear RGB stem and it should fall in directly and when everything is in place just grab a new spring it's always intertwined with each other and the same as the red one just place it over the middle grab the top case again oh that's not it <laughs> grab the top case again and uh, do the same as the red switches first you'll uh, go over the clear stem and make sure that the RGB stem is aligned with the hole on the top and then you simply press together it should come together make sure you it's nice and tight and now we have heavier blue switches 